Welcome back, everybody. We are awaiting President Biden's speech where he will announce his nominees for chair and vice chair of the Fed. It should begin any moment now. He'll be joined by current Fed chair Jerome Powell and Fed Governor Lil Brainerd, who is being promoted to vice chair. And they are both also expected to speak. In the meantime, let's talk with my next guest, David Bonson of the Bonson Group. David, you're here on a day where stocks are rallying in anticipation of uh, higher bond yields, maybe helping financials and energy in that portion of the market. This is a portion of the market you thought was overlooked anyhow, right? Yeah, those sectors that are really benefiting today happen to be areas we're overweight in. Um, I don't think it's that much related to the Fed announcement because those things had kind of come off late last week. So there's a bit of a recovery rally at play. But, but overall, I think the theme is very much alive and well that anyone who was worried about increasing hawkishness from the Fed. I don't quite know where that worry would have been coming from, but the worry is certainly not there today, Kelly. Wait, wait, elaborate on that for a minute. Well, I, I've had this theory since financial crisis that the one consistent place that I've been able to make money, I mean, there's a lot of things we've done very well, but there's certain things that sometimes you get wrong. The thing we've never gotten wrong is this belief that the Fed is going to continually being dovish because they have to be. And there are these periods of time where markets get worried. Well, maybe it's different. There's a bit of, you know, media attention and other understandable volatility around uh, potential Fed reversals. But they just simply don't play out and they can't play out. And it's not a Greenspan put anymore. And it's not a stock market put. It's all risk assets that require the lubrication of monetary policy from the central bank. Yeah. And that is embedded David, in the here's the president announcing his nominees for chair and Before vice chair began, of the Fed. 